Hello friends. So today we'll learn one of the algorithms in machine learning and uh, how we can use that to solve categorical variable problems and the decision making and predictions through that. So essentially what we have in this example today is more on how we can solve the problem rather than, rather than why. Uh, and for which I would advise you to go back to the basics and, and read some of the books on uh, why you, you would pick that model or why would you pick that algorithm to solve the problem. Uh, but essentially what we will be focusing today is uh, how by using decision tree, we can build an efficient engine uh, to be able to predict some of the categorical answers. So essentially what we have in this uh, example is uh, for a cell phone company, the sales or the purchases, the purchase that have that have happened, and the uh, some of the variables that have driven them. So what we see here is uh, the purchase, whether the purchase uh, had taken place or not, and uh, what were some of the variables that led to the purchase. So essentially, uh, we have store visit, whether the customer visited the store. We have uh, so this is a survey data. Uh, the customer visited the store, called the, st uh, called the store, emailed it, used some of the apps, website, Googled about the cell phone, uh, used Facebook uh, to search about the cell phone, did some web chat on the cell phone's website, company's website, used some of the forums to analyze and some of the demographic data about the state from which it belongs, uh, his area, whether it's a metro or a rural area, his income class and his work status. Uh, let me try and, and filter this out and give you a glimpse of uh, the data is is retired student and, and so these are the cate categories of uh, the uh, responses that have been captured for uh, the customer and the area and, and likewise so on and so forth and we have uh, the purchase that have happened or not so based on this we would want to build a model uh, to be able to predict for the incumbent survey data or, or incumbent rule engine, we want to devise a rule engine uh, if we have this data to be able to predict for these 11 records whether the purchase would take place or not. So let's see how efficiently we can we can perhaps build the model and, and make uh, the machine, train the machine and then predict these 11 records. So oh, let's go back to R. So this is my directory where I'm kind of just inputting the data. Let's take the head of the data and, and take a look. So we have the first the spreadsheet or the, or the CSV imported into our system. And then uh, the number of records that we are talking here is about 329. Now let's sample the data. So let's, let's uh, split this up into 8020. I'll be picking up 80% of random records and, and then playing with them uh, and call it my train data set. So let me set a seed and then let's import 80% of the records on the CSV and call it my train. So uh, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm getting all the records of, of, for all the attributes and uh, let's see the count. So I have from 329, I picked up 263 records into my training sample. Now let's hand over the rest of them to the test data and then start to build our model. So we have 66 records, which are uh, my test records. So, and I'm just assigning a data frame for the purchase value from the test. Okay, so uh, essentially you would need a tree package and then you would use that to build your decision tree. Uh, and, the, and, and the code for decision tree is you would assign the train, train uh, data sample and the variable that, uh, is the regressor or the one which determines uh, on the, or the dependent variable. So we are calling a decision tree and we, are, and we want to determine our purchases. So we've done that. Now let's plot the decision tree and let's take a look. So that's the first decision tree that has taken up. So what, what uh, or that's come up. So what you see here is uh, the 
results of the purchases would happen based on this rule or not. So basically, the machine has kind of identified a set of rules. Let's say when when the person when the customer did not visit the Facebook and did not visit the store, there was no purchase. And let's say when the person visited Facebook, uh, did not visit the Facebook, and the income was between these uh, segments and the f and the f did not visit the forum and did not do a web chat there was a purchase so so on and so forth each of them basically uh, lead you to uh, the end results and these are all basically the rules which kind of the machine has learned from the data and built that up so uh, so all of them basically you would you see these are the various conditions of which has which the machine has identified for purchase so now let's try to predict our decision tree on the test data and then let's see the score so it says 19 percent of the data is is, is not uh, the machine is not able to explain uh, or, or the 19 percent there is an inaccuracy of 19 percent so uh, with this we will be kind of be able to explain about 81 percent of of uh, of the purchases or, or the or we'll be able to predict that accurately uh, let's try tree burning and we will try to do us uh, try and see if we can do a better score with this or not so let's do a cross validation and see the graph which let me plot this and then we will try to take a look so this gives you uh, basically the deviation that occurs and a minimum size value uh, where, at, at which uh, or the levels at, at which the tree uh, most confidently explains with minimum deviation or the minimum uh, amount of inaccuracy. So what you see here on the x axis is the deviation and on uh, oh, sorry on the y axis is the deviation and on the x axis you see the size. Uh, or the level of the tree. So here you see at the minimum, I think it's it's at the 15%. So we can we can give that a shot. We can give that a shot of of predicting uh, with the with the 15% of of the data. So you could you could do that, and then let's try to finally predict. Once we have done this, you can go back and forth and and try and predict this this. Now let's once the sample is ready or, or once the model is ready. What we would try to do is we will use input our predict data set and then let's try to predict based on the final model that has come up. So now if I look up what I see is the values which occur or which the machine predicts for the prediction sheet so basically for the one that we don't have the final result so basically it, it gives you 11 values of whether the purchase will happen or not based on the rule it has come up with so uh, I would say there is a hell lot of concept of, of uh, identifying the impurities entropy and uh, and the information gain of decision tree so those are a, a very detailed turtle concept which I would not be covering in this blog it's it's more to how to do this than why to do this for 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 the for the why i would advise you to go back to uh, the books and maybe just read that through uh, and i think it will be really helpful for you to understand but then this is a very efficient way to build your build your decision tree model and it is very helpful for for uh, when your data is is categorical and uh, it builds it, it, it builds quite quite a, quite good models for you uh, to be able to derive uh, insights and predict some of the some of the values so i hope you've you've been uh, this is a this can be considered as an introduction to the decision tree and how you can use that in r uh, and nothing beyond that i would say but i hope this this uh, is of some help to you uh, thank you uh, and if you've really liked it please subscribe to my channel and, and Stay tuned for some of the videos that will be coming. Thank you so much.